you can turn your Raspberry Pi into a phone system. What does that mean? It means you can use your cell phone, your iPad, or things like this, a phone like you might see in a corporate office and make phone calls inside your house. Hello? Put calls on hold. Have conference calls. A full-blown corporate business phone system on this little bitty guy, a Raspberry Pi 4. Let's get started. In this video, I'm walking you through how to set up a phone system on a Raspberry Pi. But what kind of phone system? It's called 3CX, and they're actually the sponsor of this video, and they gave you the great idea to put their phone system on a Raspberry Pi. It's, it's awesome and super easy. First, we'll start with the basic, hey, how do I set up my Raspberry Pi? I'll walk you through it real quick. And then right after that, we get into it. We set up a phone system on your Raspberry Pi, which again is crazy. It doesn't take long, I promise, and we get to have a lot of fun with it. Anyways, let's go. Let's get started. If you have a fresh Raspberry Pi right out of the oven, you'll have to do a few things to get it ready real quick. You'll first want to format the little tiny SD card. Pop that into a USB reader. Plug it into your computer. Download the Raspberry Pi Imager for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Then you'll launch the Raspberry Pi Imager, choose your operating system, which I will choose Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Choose your SD card. It should show up like this if you just plugged it in. And then write. And then take a coffee break. This might take a bit. It's done. Take it out. Take the USB out of your computer. And then put that sucker back into your fresh new Raspberry Pi. Then plug in your power, HDMI cable, and USB keyboard and mouse. And you'll go through all the getting started business, selecting your language and such. And then of course you wanna connect it to your network, wireless or wired, I'm gonna go wired. And best practice, you wanna update your software. I'm gonna skip mine for now, but please remember to go back and do it. And then go ahead and restart your little Pi there. Restart. Now once you're back in, there's only one more thing we have to do as prep. We're gonna go up to the top right here and you're gonna right click those two little arrows. You click on wireless and wired network settings and we'll configure our interface to have a static IP address. This way we make sure our phone system's IP address stays the same. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll select interface and then my interface is gonna be ethernet zero. Yours might be WLAN zero if you're using wireless. So ethernet zero and I'll put in my static IP address and then I'll click apply. And I'll do a quick reboot to make sure our changes take effect. Go to the top left here, click on that raspberry and then click on log out and, sh or no, not shut down, reboot. And we wait, great time for more coffee. Okay, now time to install our phone system. And this is actually the easy part. I'm not kidding, check this out. We'll open up our terminal by going to the top left and clicking on that little black box thing. All we need is one command to do this. You can follow along with me as I type or you can copy and paste from the description. Let's do it now. Command will be wget https colon whack whack downloads dash global dot yada yada yada, you get it. And then after that first URL, we'll put a colon in a space and then sudo bash d10pi.zip. So what this is doing is it's going out to the internet, out to 3CX and downloading a script. A script that when we run, will install our phone system. So the first command wget pulls it down and then sudo bash that zip file actually runs a script. Ready? All you have to do is hit enter and it's done. Here we go. Oh, I forgot a whack in my whack whack. <laughs> so you should copy and paste. Here we go, right now. Yeah, yeah. So you got two options right now, right away. Beta or final. Let's go with final. We want the final version, right? Hit enter and go. Sit back, have some coffee. I'm so excited to do this. So we're nearly done. I just have to accept the license agreement. So I'll hit tab and then OK. And then how do you want to configure this? Browser or command line? I want to go browser. Let's make it friendly. So hit one for browser. And... I think that's about it. We're almost there. We're almost done. We're done. That was it. 3CX, a phone system installed on a Raspberry Pi. But how do we set it up? Let's do it. It tells you what IP address to go to right now. It will be the static IP address you set. So this guy right here. So at this point, we're pretty much done with our Raspberry Pi. We can set him to the side because we can access his web interface via the IP address. Like watch this. I'll navigate to 10.77.1.54, my IP address. Then it was colon 5015 is my port and go. So cool. So, okay, what are we doing here? A license key, we have to pay for this? No, no, we don't. As long as you're like me and you want to set up a phone system in your house just for your family, it's free. But you do need a license key, so let's get one right now. I will click on that link and just enter my information to get signed up. And then go check your email. They're going to have all the stuff you need right there. And once your email is verified, you can go log in. They would have sent you a username and password. And we'll get logged in. Just one thing we have to do here. I'll go to support, 
at the top here and click on customer portal. And under my subscriptions, you'll have your license key. Mine's blurred out, I'm not gonna give you my license key, but notice it is a 3CX standard free license, perfect. And we're gonna copy that and paste that into our Raspberry Pi 3CX phone system stuff. So just copy that sucker and then go to your portal and paste that right in there. Click next. And then you'll set up your username and password for your phone system. Click next. Here it's going to show you your public IP. Again, mine is blurred out. I'm not going to show you that, but it should populate automatically for you. If not, enter it manually. We'll click next. Most of you, it'll be automatic. And then it'll ask you, is this a static or dynamic IP address for most of you? Most of you, this will be a dy dynamic IP address. I'm a nerd and I paid for a static IP address. So I'll select that option there. Click next. Enter your subdomain. It can be whatever you want. I'll put on put in there network chuck. Domain group, I'm gonna be in North America or United States. And my preferred domain suffix, I'll choose Texas. Click on next. We're almost done, I promise. This we can leave all as default. These are the ports you're going to use. And next. Now here, more for advanced users, if you have your own DNS server and you wanna use your fully quiet, fully, fully quiet, fully qualified domain name, you can. For most people and including myself right now, I'll use my local IP, which again was what you statically set on your Raspberry Pi. So I'll click on next. Nothing to do there. And now we sit back and let it to let it, let it finish. So we'll do that. Coffee break. So that's pretty much it. Right now you've got a legit phone system running on your Raspberry Pi. The rest of this will just be getting into the weeds on making a phone system do what you want it to do, which is awesome and fun. Let's go through a few things. Now, I won't be deep diving into everything with the phone system because that would take forever. And there's other videos for that. But let me show you a few fun things real quick. First, how many digits do you want your extension to be? If you've never worked in a corporate environment, you might be like, what is that? <laughs> it's just a smaller number you can use to call your fellow employees. That way you're not dialing a full 10 digit or however big your number is. For me, I like to use four digits and we'll click on next. Enter an email for updates. Click on next, put your time zone in. Next, and then your operator extension. This will be your operator. It can be whatever you want it to be actually. I'm gonna make mine 5,000. Voicemail number 9999, it's very common. So we'll leave that there, click on next. Oh, I forgot email address. I'll just put it in mine. And now click on next. Countries that calls can be made to. Now, if it's just in your house, you don't have to worry about this too much. But if you're gonna set this up as a legit phone system where you'll actually have outbound calls outside to the public telephone system, this might be important. But if you're just doing your thing in your house like I am, North America is fine for me. Click on next. English is fine for me for the prompts. And just a little bit more waiting. More coffee though, it's awesome. Now I said it before, but for real now, it's ready to go, it's done. And here's how you access your stuff. And these two options right here will mainly be for when you're outside your home. So you have your fully qualified domain name and your public IP address, which I'm also gonna be graying out or blurring out. But when you're inside your home like I am right now, you can just go to the private IP address you set up. So 10.77.1.54 was mine. And the port will be 5001, so colon 5001. Make sure you put a HTTPS colon whack whack before that. And you're off to the races. self sign insert, just go ahead and accept that sucker and proceed and then log in with the account you set up. And we are in. Now, the first thing I wanna say real quick, yes, 3CX does have an app you can download for Android, iPhone, but why? Why would you do that? Well, you may not have one of these bad boys. A phone. I know I'm kind of a weirdo and I have a bunch of phones like this because I'm a phone guy. Not a lot of people have these. So if you wanna set up your own phone system in your house, you can, and you can use regular iPhones and iPads and all kinds of stuff. So your family can have their own internal calling system. So don't just not do this because you don't have a phone. You have a phone and you can use that on your system and it's really cool. And let's get one set up right now actually. So I'll close this out and look at this. This is legit. This is so cool. First thing I wanna do is over here on the left, I wanna click on extensions. Right now we should only have one, the operator that we just set up. I want to add my own. I wanna add one for me. So I'm gonna click on add right here. My extension will be 5755. That was my extension when I actually worked in a corporate environment. Brings back memories. Put in my name. And then whatever other stuff you wanna add as well, click okay, and your extension is added. Now I'm gonna click on that extension once more to get to this menu and see this QR code right here? That's what we're going to use to add our cell phone to our phone system, which is weird. So go ahead and download that app. And I will go ahead and go to my options here, click scan QR code and just scan it. And boom, there it is. Like it's, it's already set up. That's my phone. <laughs> I've got a phone, I'm ready for calls. That's kind of crazy. And if I go to, on the left here, click on phones. There's my phone right there in my phone system, provisioned. <laughs> That's, it's that quick and, and awesome. I'm gonna add my iPad. I wanna set up another extension. I'll set up one for my wife. So I'll go to extensions here on the left and click on add once more. And I'll make hers 5756. My wife's name is Abby and that's all we pretty much need. I'll click okay. 
jump back in there, and then get my iPad going. I will scan that QR code, and of course, it's ready to go. Now I'm going to place my first call. Here we go. Um, I'll call my wife, 5756. This is a phone system operating on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> Calling. There it goes. Hello. Hello. Ah! <laughs> That's amazing, right? Like, how cool is that? A phone system running off a Raspberry Pi in your house. It doesn't get better than that. That's the geekiest thing you can do in your home. Do it today. It's awesome. Now, the geekiness does not stop there. Let's hook up some phones. <laughs> Let's make this a little bit crazier. Now, adding physical phones like this can be a bit more involved, especially if you want to add some Cisco phones. There's a few extra steps I'm not going to cover in this video, but there are resources out there. But I want to show you how cool it is just to add one. To add a phone, I'll go to extensions, and I'll go and create another user real quick. I'll add my pug Moses. I'll make his extension 5700 Moses and click OK. To give Moses a phone, I'll go back to my phones here on the left, click on Add Phone, and select my extension, which will be Mr. Moses here, and we'll click OK. And then you have your models, which they do support a ton of models. I'm gonna go with the Cisco stuff, the Cisco 7941. And then I'll need that MAC address. Now a bunch of you nerds may notice this is not a 7941, it's a 7821, but it'll still work either way. I'll click OK, and Let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And of course, there's a bunch of options you can go with, but I'll just click okay to add that phone. And then I'll plug him in. And check this out. It's ready to go. Ah! I'm going to call Moses. 5700 for Moses. Let's call him. <laughs> yes. Let's answer. Hello? <laughs> That's awesome. Let's conference in my wife. Hold music. <laughs> this is so lit. I should put my own hold music on there, shouldn't I? Yep. Well, I gotta conference my wife in. And we're all conferenced in. <laughs> Let's add one more phone. This time I'll create a user for my bird, Kevin. 5701. Kevin. Kevin is up and running. Let's call Moses. Boom. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, my cord came loose. All right, it powered off. It's gonna power back on in a second. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah. All right, Kevin and Moses are in a conference call. Let's bring me in. Do you hear that? Got the conference music going, the on-hold music. <laughs> That's too cool. All running off a Raspberry Pi. Oh. That's amazing. A phone system on a Raspberry Pi. I mean, 3CX is amazing. I'm just scratching the surface on what it can do, and it's kind of cool to have your own phone system in the house. It's fun to call your family, have your own little stuff going on. You can also connect your phone system to the outside world via what's called a SIP trunk. And while that's a tutorial for another day, I do already have one set up, and I've got a number that you can call to test it out. You'll actually be able to call my Raspberry Pi and get a little IVR, a menu. Just like you might get when you call any professional company, you'll get an IVR when you call me. So go ahead and call the number on the screen. <laughs> I feel like a telemarketer right now, like a commercial. If you get a busy signal, that's because I can only have so many simultaneous calls with my free license here on 3CX. Otherwise, how cool is that? <laughs> you can set up your own IVR, your own menu system on your Raspberry Pi in your home. You can have your kids call into it. You can have you can go crazy with it. You can actually do some crazy things. If you look here at their menu, you can do some office hours, time zones. I mean, just, you can do so much. And it's, it's amazing. There's even some things called call flow apps, which I've not messed with. And I kind of want to now, but it sounds cool. Putting a phone system on a Raspberry Pi. <laughs> it's, it's crazy, right? It's, it's weird and, and geeky and, and kind of wonderful. You should do it like right now right now. But seriously, it's a fun thing to like show your kids what an actual phone used to look like or does still look like. It's fun to kind of mimic a corporate environment. I mean, 3CX is legit and used in corporate environments. And also, again, huge shout out to 3CX for sponsoring this video and giving me this great idea. So let me know if you actually go through with this and create a phone system in your house. I would love to hear about that. So hit me up in the comments below. And if you like this video, like it, subscribe if you want to subscribe. You know, all the youtube -y stuff, it does does help. And if you want to support more of what I'm doing here, uh, making random videos where I tell you to make a phone system in your house, or real stuff like CCNA and, and, and IT training courses to help you get started in IT, first, the best way you can support me is just by liking and commenting. Um, other ways, I sell coffee. If you want to help me out by buying some of my coffee, it's delicious, try that out. Or you can join thisisit.io. Check it out below. <laughs> You'll find out more about it when you go through and look at it. And yeah, that's all I got, guys. Um, this was fun. I'll <laughs> catch you guys later.